So we've been presenting this uh, IFM 201703 uh, trial. It's a phase three trial. Uh, we can say that it's the first phase three trial dedicated to elderly frail patients with newly diagnosed multiple myeloma. So the rationale is that those patients, uh, we know from the Maya study, for example, that they do more uh, adverse events and infection uh, and more treatment discontinuation. Uh, when you when you treat them with DRD versus uh, Landex. So we came up with the idea to uh, explore a dexamethasone sparing regimen uh, with darchumumab and lenalidomide and just two cycles of dexamethasone and then the patient will stop dexamethasone. And we compare this to the previous standard of treatment, the Landex, uh, until, until progression. So 295 patients were randomized in a two to one manner, 200 in DR and uh, 95 in the Landex arm. Uh, the population is frail, so median age is 81 years old, uh, and the patients uh, have an IFM frailty score of two or more. Um, so we, the, we reported the primary endpoint, which is the PFS, the median PFS is 53 months uh, in the DR group uh, as compared to 22.5 months in the Landex group, the control group. The hazard ratio is 0.51 and it's, it's a significant uh, p-value. Uh, uh, we also observe a difference in overall survival. Uh, the median overall survival is not rich for the patients treated with DR and it's 47 months uh, in the patients treated with Landex and it's significant again, hazard ratio at 0.51. 52. Uh, and in terms of safety, uh, we see that the patients treated with darchumumab and lenalidomide don't have more uh, non-hematological side effects. Uh, so it's similar number compared to Landex, and especially for infection, it's 19% of grade 3, 4 infection in patients treated with DR and 21% uh, in patients with Landex, and similar for pneumonia specifically. 6% with darchumab, lenalidomide, and 8% with uh, Landex. And no more treatment uh, discontinuation with Darlan versus Landex, 30 versus 34%. Uh, so it's very encouraging data. Um, uh, uh, and, and you know we think that treating the patients, elderly patients, uh, with frail status, uh, with this uh, dexamethasone sparing regimen is probably the next uh, standard of care treatment.